Kyler Bernhardt. Sleep comes easy. The pain from your physical wounds salved by the cushion of bed and the darkness of your room at nighttime. But much like so many nights prior, there is no relief from the things that have tormented your mind. Somewhere in a semi-conscious state, as you try your best to relax and let go of all the anxiety, worries, and concerns that have bubbled to the surface since your time in Nodis and even before, one stark, cold realization stands out among all else, jutting out like a jagged, broken bone from a fresh wound. You died. That can't be right, of course. You're here, after all. You know that much. You remember being injured, the desperate ride back to town, juddering along the cobblestone road as the sun turned to dusk and the warmth of the summer gave way to the numbing cold of lost blood and a laboring heart instinctively struggling to keep your flesh alive. But despite any denial, you know, it was delusion to think that no one could get hurt, and hubris to assume it couldn't be you. The realization sends your mind scraping its scraps of memory of the moment, the vague moments after arriving in town, being treated, somehow you feel like you should remember these, should remember these. But why? The wisps of memory are banished in the presence of something that has been revealed in attempting to relive this moment and more than anything you have ever felt in your life. It is utterly terrifying. The presence is everywhere, occupying all spaces wherein nothing resides. It consumes the totality of the negative space of the world. This presence goes on and on and on, past the town, past the seas, and beyond the horizon, infinitely to the sky. You sense and feel the weight of this thing, this infinite thing, press into you like diving deeper and deeper into the ocean. And as your mind races, clawing at the insides of your skull in a feeble attempt to understand this thing that has banished all else in its presence, one final tremendous pang of horror strikes you as a single revelation is made through all the furtive efforts of your thoughts. This is death. Death is everywhere, all around all things, occupying every single space where the spark of life does not flicker against the infinite darkness. It existed long before you were born, exists right now, and will exist forevermore, eternally, after your name and deeds and any echo of your memory is all but dust. That is the horror night. sets in. Uh, not that I know. Sorry knowing that. this. Just a handful of seconds ago, though. The truth of things. The truth of death. That it is everywhere. And always has been. Are you concealed? Mortals living blinded to this thing by a thin veil of their own ignorance. Will we For you know that if they did today. see it, Which if the veil about? were to be lifted, uh, please. the world would be a vastly different mm -hmm. place. Perhaps one where life was more sacred or death more respected. Somewhere at the end of it all, it's perhaps comforting. Comforting to know that in a world that's so chaotic, there is at least one thing that is absolutely certain, immutable, eternal, 
and constant, existing forever, despite all else. But you're alive. If a veil you know you are. Anything to help fix it, so. A veil comes back down, and all is as it should be, with gods in their heavens, and all right on Alzera. But alive as Thank you, you are, you also Welcome now us. know that death is there. It always has been. I should probably it always outside, will be. be. <laughs> you didn't Shit. die. And what occurred was but a brief moment where that veil was lifted. What you do with that knowledge now can only be yours. For what you lived was no dream. <clears throat> I don't know how this fucker did it, but Lone basically read my mind when I was thinking about how Kyla would have experienced this. I was literally thinking about this between sessions. I was like, he's seen death again, and it's followed him everywhere. I don't know how the fuck he managed that, but this man is... He is no man. <clears throat> Good morning, Cyrus. That's like a log, honestly. Although you seem to be up pretty late. Well, I look in the direction of you. <laughs> it was either you or someone else. I hope it wasn't someone else. I hope not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Mm. As far as I know, it's only <laughs> the two of us in the dorm. Well, that in your crackers. Or well, someone yeah. will wait. It is the late night snacking. You know... I'm knocking on the door. That makes you fat. I'll get that. You just call me fat. Maybe. Healthy. It's very different. I think it's the outfit. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's been a while since I've been to action, I'm sure. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hmm. What are you eating? Not since... I don't remember. It's called, um, Bran Flakes. Have you heard of this? Some people eat them with milk, but I like them just kind of dry. <sighs> What's wrong? Things blurry. Forgive me, I don't... <laughs> hurts. Oh, oh hello. Go ahead. Oh, fine. Flakes. They're crispy and bland. <sighs> uh, filling in my own words. My name's Sarah. I think your name is Cyrus. <sighs> right? Correct. <laughs> I'll not make the same mistake twice. Kyler, if you're paying well enough attention, you will notice bags under her eyes. She did not sleep. It's Marcus. <laughs> you rubbing it on <laughs> What? You're going to get stains mm. on your dress. 
What's it look like? This is where I'm taking care of. I, I, I move the farm field. Just do like, like this. Oh, good old uh, soup for the night. Move your fingers so together. You're doing like okay. Wash this. But you can. You not wash your floors. <laughs> Out of character, you see on the side of the bowl, there is <laughs> kind of like an inscription, but someone transcribed his name, Sharik, <laughs> kind of crudely. <laughs> it's from um, I'm going to Miss to Lily. That you said that he cleans his own floors. <laughs> is he conscious? As he should. He's got, who else is going to do it? I'm not doing it. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, Marcus. Uh, okay. Sarah's down there, um, just wanted to see you. Want me to send her up? Sure. Right. What kind of blacksmith can okay. clean up that room? <laughs> you got plenty of people up in here. I don't want to be a bother. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> Class. Uh, he's awake. If you wanted to go talk to him or see him. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you for the cornflakes. Very kind. Yes, some of the best around. Where do, you, where do you get them? Do you make them? Yes, I do. Oh, that's the secret. Old family recipe. We well, you know I ran a farm. Well, not not all farmers in this day and age know the intricacies of farming. Some do it out of necessity. Yeah. I was good at it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. My wife, she knew how to, uh... Hey. Well, I mean, she would, she would make this most of the time, but... Hey. Oh. It, it kept for longer than bread. Doing all right. like shit. Awful <laughs> Thanks. I slept well, oh. unfortunately. I didn't know you were married. Is. Um, is she around? It's okay. I'm sorry. For what? I believe so. She was still around. Minding the uh, homestead as much as she could. Not being around, I guess. What you see? I don't know what happened. Why? Occupied Why? Occupied don't always get to keep what's theirs. We went out to... Right. Uh, yeah. <sighs> ...track down a pack of orcs that were harassing people. Walked into an ambush. There were goblin archers everywhere, and well, uh, one day <laughs> you'll be able to see. I got really again. unlucky. Everything will be right as rain, aye. Archers. Yeah. I'd love to meet your family. Um, that'd be exciting. They knew we were coming. They were ready for us. Why last long enough? It was my fault. See them, I'll be glad. Why don't? You? <laughs> no. Spent hours a day studying maps and past battles and tactics, and I didn't see the obvious ambush in time. Have a whole feast. Oh, sure. Helps to be a real They are monsters. Yeah, they beat us. To be helpful, Mr. Cyrus. Well, they're dead now. True. Blind hope. Well. Good. No, we just need to get you better. I'll keep trying. For both our sakes, I. Eh? <sighs> Why do you look so torn up? Tonight is the night, as it were. Did nothing work? No. No you still got that, uh, potions, that no bandages, no gauze, no... None of it. That's all right. You still have your expertise. I don't know why I'm still here. I think you did manage to well, from the halberds that I would not start questioning it. Out of the pit. So. <laughs> right. And at least have that. It will serve you well. Um, Fuck. So we have some time before that. Do you have anything planned uh, for the day ahead of you? 
Do you need anything to get done today? I need to start the forge. And... <clears throat> I'm gonna go well, later on, we're going to be doing the boat. Over there. Now, you're welcome to join if you Fuck. That's not a... You know, it needs to be done. Have a good day, Mr. Cyrus. Mr. Stillman. You and Tazima both in terrible shape. That's why we're doing it today and not yesterday. We can't. If we don't do it today, <clears throat> we have to wait another two days. And by then, the Capitano would have, have fortified himself, the robber baron would have started his attack on the city, and we won't have enough time to turn back the ships. We agreed Silas? when this started off. Once it started, we couldn't boats. stop. Wrong, try again. Even delaying it to one night was Cyrus? risky. Don't see you very often. I'll no one does. be there. This time. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> How yeah. have you been faring, though? You're gonna need to be. You, me, and Torty are gonna be instrumental in this. I understand that. <sighs> Don't do that. Uh, I am approaching mm. my two hundred and twenty-fifth. Frown place. like that. I was just thinking. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if that's flattering or not, especially with what I look like now. Where is, um, Morlena? Haven't seen her. Uh, history Just, never has this is normally her bed, hey? She might be on the roof, or she might be you out and about. She'll be hmm? upset with herself. Simply just tired. Yeah. That was, um, very obvious on her face. How'd you see her? Have a good day. When you were injured. If you need anything, you just need to ask. Yeah. She, um... <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna do whatever she's telling you. <laughs> Here's the soup that Marcus brought in. Good idea. Hm. I'm really not very hungry right now. Because I'm not getting out of this, am I? <coughs> what do you guys have planned for today? She put it pretty well. I don't want you guys to have to wait on me like that. Oh, that's for her. <laughs> I'll be getting medical supplies for tonight. Just carrying money aside in case we need armor repair.
Apologies, chat. Oh shit, drow. Fuck. Man, I'm on the struggle you bus today. You I lost internet connection. <clears throat> oh, I just went down. Uh, fuck. Alright, I'm going back in. Yeah, probably with all the blood with it. Yeah. Here. I didn't even recognize it. Chest piece. Ooh. Alright, though. It doesn't look damaged, Ellie. I guess, yeah, it was his head that got fucked up. Oh, there he is. I'm robbing you. Yeah, he's laying down. No fucking surprise. Oh, never mind. He's up. Yeah, I'm just He's up and at him. No, I, I got you your actual chess piece that you ordered from me. It's there now. I'm taking the one that was supposed to be Cade's backup. So. Got it. Thanks, Toti. Holy shit. Yeah, of course. Circus in here. I hope you're feeling yes. uh, better. I believe he's on the run. Sure. And that's his main squeeze. Also, good morning. Mm. Good morning. Mm. All right. I'll uh, see you around once you're up and mobile yeah yeah we should eat together before yes please it would be nice good oh, I was putting some tea on i'm on the struggle bus today oh, i will hello. manifest good that morning. it clears up fuck me it was my fucking hip one it was my leg one like i thought it was tea's on if you'd like to Fuck. All right, sorry. <clears throat> you. Don't really like um, you were talking about getting you medical and stuff, and you were asking me a question. Um, <laughs> also, I have to get more. Oh, yeah. um, tonight. Your armor. But it's that good. got taken care of. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's fine. I'm ready. Are you? Yes. Do you do you have what was it coconuts? I'm out of medical. Lisa though. suggested oh, extra. Perfect. Yeah, Lisa Wonderful. suggested extra medical, which I agree with. Absolutely I can front so, quite a bit of coin for it. I have to pick anything. up something from Venora anyway. What? I just want to make sure you can get out of bed <laughs> before I leave. I should be able to get out of bed Every fine. I, I just, the house, like, Look, Marcus, you know, coconut. and they just, they just have an actual coconut. <laughs> a little slow today. Open. They're like, here, uh -huh. as if to have it. I'm it's like, understandable. You feel better I'll get going then. See what I can scrounge up. <laughs> yes, Thanks for strange. stopping by. Expect to be like, look, Marcus, it's, it's, coconut. You realize no what problem. it is, don't you? It's a, it's a thing. You, they show you a coconut. You weigh it in your hand, and then you know how big okay. their fucking honkers are, comparatively speaking. Oh. That's what it is. <laughs> right. Good morning. Do you need Good anything morning. from us? Apparently, for tonight? the unnecessary conversation. Give me some alcohol. In the kitchen at every point and every day. Right. That hurts a yep. lot. That's all I need. Yes. Last night was. <sighs> See you later. I heard Dude. Sharik is. I heard. <laughs> He's up now. Would you like a beef? He's fine. Not a baby. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm she gives you a knowing look. Remember what she said last night? We 
man not walking around with these sausages. That being said, I'm glad you're uh, around. Uh, yeah, you, it's only weird if you make it weird. Ah, oh, well, I was just making a quick delivery. Now I got more work to do. I find that hard to believe, considering who you seem to be. You don't seem to be around. Of course. Well, I don't think I've ever broken a bone. Knock on wood. Oh, good morning, and, uh, Mr. I wasn't Crenshaw. there last night, so... Good day. That's why I'm in one piece. <laughs> How are Odd, you? Considering you two seem very I'm close. doing just fine. You look quite menacing with a handful of salam wielded. Made a mistake. Be careful. I have shroom and I'm the best salam wielder here in North Hills. I think Pepe would have you <clears throat> matched, maybe. <gasps> oh. <gasps> yes. He's Scandal. wielding salam. <laughs> Absolutely. How did they point at me? Because hmm? you're him. Um. Who's him? Well, him is me, and me am I. What's I up, sir? Me, and that means Crenshaw. Oh, nothing. Sorry. I'm going to be hmm. um, heading to the apothecary to get medical for tonight. Oh, all right. If you're not busy yet. I'm not. Do you require assistance? Hmm? Not particularly, but. If you're not gonna check on Shariq, we could prepare him. I always. make it a habit not to go in his room while he has family and company. Out of I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> well, come if you want. She is uh, quite the character, and there might Has he eaten not today? be. Cut that up or something. Do not put a full There's salami some... in your mouth. <laughs> there's, there's some soup. Oh God! <sighs> Gotta get the juices out, you see. There is some soup. Finish what you were saying. I'd love to put some of this meat in. Some we're there. fucking. He, ha he has soup. He has soup. He's he's got soup. Yep, soup. Oh, uh. oh pause. I, I think. Pause. Oh, I don't know. Uh. This keeps happening in here, and then Stop. I go outside, and it's fine. Just in I here. know, I'm like, hmm. what the fuck? Well, all the rooms Just are climbing. near each other, so it might be a different building. <laughs> That's why. Uh, should be fine. If not, I think this we're I think it's not us. Yeah, I think we're fine. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's we nearby, are. just not this one. Mm. I'm gonna check oh, my eyes got some charcoal. Boy. <laughs> you almost took me out. You're not the boy. Who are you? Yeah, it's Lisa. Oh. I've come to see if you've eaten today. I've choked down a soup at the behest of her. I would thank you then. Oh, it must eat. Time to recover. I was hoping that you. That uh, this fine then. Now I have an extra salon. I bought it for you, but. I guess we'll save it. Save her. The salon. If you will. You could put it under Olena's pillow. Hmm. Maybe I'll just eat it myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good to see that you're alive and well. Alive, yes. Back to my room, I go for my studies. Well comes with time. <sighs> Come on.
Uh, no. Not yet. She could be uh, coming in from her other home. Like, Severed. Oh, good morning. Oh, oh, he's shriek. Awake. My brain's freezing a little bit. Start the forge if you would. Uh, I, yeah, I will. I, I have someone to give you later. Seems that I'm way. still working good. on it, but it's a little thing to hold. Really help me feel a little better. I wonder. Forge. Okay. I'm kind of like whatever sure. you guy, but mostly just like. Like logistics, cargo lifting and stuff, moving from place to place. Oh, yes, I, know. You're I hope you got the order. soup so that Lily there, made for you. I did. Uh, um, in, in have any of you seen the godsmen? I mean, certain godsmen. Like Fenton and his, his friends. I've only just woken up. Shit. Alright. I'll keep looking. I think I'm going deaf. I didn't hear a fucking word he said. Something about the guards. Yeah, that could Looking be bad. Guess we'll find out. Training today. So what's the plan? Do you feel you're up for training? If you feel I need training, I will train. Depends. Again, uh, if you think you're Monty's up for training. Uh, I can be hard, but if you're going to fall over and rip a stitch... I, don't think I, can tell with the hood, I think that's quite likely, yes. You see he's like wobbling on his feet. And I'm not going to make you train. But I will make you write in your book. Sounds fair. How can I help you? I don't just stand there like an idiot, go get it, or have somebody fetch it for you. Just came to see how you were. Pretty nasty uh, scrap you got in. God, did everyone see me? I have few. Embarrassing. But this is what we should not be doing, so um, yeah. I'm gonna go make you myself peaceful. a location somewhere other than in the middle of where people can find you to have there we go. this conversation. Is there something you need to say, or are you just Fine, I don't intend to stay for long. Just checking. I do need to ask, has the alchemist come in the town? I need to talk to her. I think you just missed her. Mm-hmm. Morning. All right, Anything thank you. Want? Morning. To see one of the forge up and running, it's the only reason I'm out here. Well, you have a run. worker for that sitting on his ass, do Yes, you I've asked him twice to do it. I'm Cedric. sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry my brain was freezing. Use that excuse a lot. Well... I'm trying. Up. Room. Desk. Anywhere that's not inside would be great. I'm feeling really stuffy right now. That's fine. I'm sure there are a million places you can ride, but if people are looking for you, being standing in the middle of the forge is not the smartest place to be. I don't think people are looking for me. I mean more, everybody seems to want your attention. What else is Privacy. Me? Yeah. Um, we could go out by the beach or something. Get out of the city for a bit. Fine. Will you be bringing your companion? I don't think I have a choice in the matter. She doesn't want to leave my side today. I assume that's okay. Does she know how to write? No. Then we will bring two quills, and the best way to learn how to write is to teach someone to write. You will teach her the alphabet today. Works for me. Let's um, go in the house, grab what we need, and go out the back. I think that's um, easier. Good damn stuff to 
save up for. Or it'll be raining hot when you come back out. You know, maybe take a visit to the back. Maybe. Fresh quill for you. How's this? Wherever you're comfortable. Today's lesson will be simple. You will show her the alphabet. At which point, you will point out how to spell her name. It's important that you put extra precision in this because you are teaching someone else. You will not rush, because your rushing will impact the knowledge you impact upon her. Are we understood? Understood. Come on, Lisa. Check back in a little bit. How much have they taught you so far? Sure. All right. Go through what you know, then I'll fill in the gaps with you, okay? Starting off with A. It's the one that looks oh, like a I'd circle. I'd probably need to call a DM, see if they, I can get rolls for for this. Go for it. Rolls for what? The... Oh, perfect. Um, Lisa was taught a little bit of how to write in season two, but they weren't really able to continue it between seasons, so I need a roll to see how much she retained for at least writing the alphabet. With a nine, you can remember about half of it. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, A. Shariq, you can hear a bit of commotion coming from the direction of town, just around where the forge is. Can't make out what, though. That might be something worth checking out. You hear that? <clears throat> Come on. 
The last thing we want is our fucking forge exploding again. Elena. Something's happening in town what? by the forge. Should probably check it out. I apologize. Okay. It took me a moment. What do you want to do? If this is a situation, you're in no condition to do anything, so what are your orders? We need to go at least see what's happening. Understand that, but think your plan through a little bit clearer than that. What do you want myself and Lisa to do in case something is in trouble or there's a problem? Lead, Kyla. Hang back and let me handle it as best I can. It shouldn't come to blows, but if it does, obviously we want to get out of there. Agreeable. Understood. Agreeable. Tyler, as you get close, you're pretty sure you can hear someone screaming assistant blacksmith. And close to them. Tyler. Hey, hey, right here. Before you go, there's a whole contention of guards at the front of the place looking for you. Armed. Are you sure you don't want us to step in first? To see what they want? They won't tell you. They'll push you aside. I'm just letting you know. Thanks, Marcus. Tyler, rip the your attention being brought to the blacksmith by Marcus here. You feel that it might be important to go check on things, just in case. What would you do? Hang back with the rest of these two if it gets messy. Uh, okay. We don't go there. They're gonna turn the place upside down. Do what they did to Jax. Godsman. Look who decided to show up. I had people were looking for me. How can I be of assistance? Front now. You got it. Oh. Apologies, Godsman. <laughs> Shall I go see. fetch him? There he is. Good. Come. The rest of you can fuck off. You're not needed. If you stick around, I'll have my men put some bolts in you. Fuck off. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. <sighs> my 
fucking charger doesn't want to track. Fuck me. It's just one of those days again. Welcome back. <clears throat> Apologies. How can I be of assistance? Disarm him of his sword. Put it over on the table. <laughs> I will see Mr. Sharik. Right there. Now, thankfully, I was able to find you. You see, there's this investigation of you, actually, that are going on. Several things of importance. Between Arilandi deserters, murderous whores, and, of course, the strange going-ons at this blacksmithery and reports of your faces being seen in Balerno. The same night of the death of Corporal Barrera and his men. I've had my hands full this morning. But lo and behold, luck has struck. And some different people have come forward and given us descriptions of people and armor and voices. Now, of course, this is just a routine investigation. I'm going to ask some questions. And you're going to answer them. Very simple. And if you answer wrong, whatever happens, happens. Okay? Sure. Very good. So, Balerno. There are people from Balerno who have forwarded to the guards concerns that men in specific armors have been seen there the night of the death of the Corporal Barrera. Some of these descriptors, as vague as they are, well, you see, there's a bunch of strange peasants that seem to have arms and armaments. And I've looked all over this town. Everywhere. They all seem to come to this location. Even the Imperials have noticed. You see, we've had to compare notes because of our investigation. And thankfully, they have a list of names of people that have been seen here. And those names match up with some of the strange comings and goings that we of the Red Art Guard have seen coming from this establishment. In the dead of night as well, when we have men patrolling the streets and there's a gaggle fuck of people just sitting outside here. So. But Blairno, I need to know who was there and what the purpose of them being there was. I wasn't there, I don't know. As I said in the first report. Looks like it. Going to be like that, is it? <laughs> the descriptions that were given don't match anyone other than the people we have seen coming and going from this building in armor. There's no one else. No mercenaries that we've been able to find. We've gone through the mercenaries guild. Just to be sure it wasn't a contract. Everything keeps pointing back here to this place of business. Now surely a blacksmith knows about his surroundings and of course the people that come and go. Have you seen anyone matching the descriptions of people in full black? People in leather armors, steel armors. 
With griffins on them, perhaps. Of course, I have a set myself. Hmm. And what about an armor that was pinkish and white, full steel? I believe I've seen that around, yeah. And where have you seen it, Mr. Sharik? Uh, the blacksmith, as you said. We're a blacksmithy, we work on swords. Mm. We see this sort of thing all the time. Then, of course, your ledgers. You would have down who you ever worked for or worked with. Who is the owner of that armor? I'm not sure I don't work on armor myself. I'm a sword worth person. I haven't seen him without it off. I'm pretty sure that the armor worker works right there at that station. You'd have to Correct. talk to him then, yes. Well, unfortunately, he's an emissary, so I can't do to him what I'm going to do to you. Hmm. It's a shame. So, you're telling me you have no idea who it may be within this arm or armor mint? The only person I've seen with that armor walking around, I haven't seen without the helmet on, unfortunately. Get that one on his feet. You see, I've been told that I have to come up with results. And that with the results, things are going to have to crack down even more on the town. And that's a lot of work for me, my men. And we are getting very tired of dealing with all these external threats. And of course, people here don't seem to know their place. But one thing I do know is that this little fucking hobbit has been in and out of this house when I see people stream in and out of it. I've seen this little hobbit sitting out here when people stream in and out the back streets. This fucking hobbit is always here. So maybe you don't know something, but maybe it does. Sergeant, I loosen the boy's tongue. <laughs> I'm going to ask you questions, Mr. Severick. Certainly. Now, I want you to answer them to the best of your abilities. If you tell the truth, you will be fine. And if you lie, well, you're obstructing justice. The first question. The people that accumulate themselves inside of the forge and the forge master's house, what kind of armors do they have? Um... I haven't seen them in armor. Wrong answer. A strike well, to you've the You've been nose, seen sitting Severick. outside. It instantly breaks. Blood begins pouring from it down your face. Because if I recall correctly, the heroic people responded to a need to deal with orcs at the behest of some rangers that waltzed into town. And you know all these people in armor came straight from this point with a Bjorning and left town. And one of them has an emblazoned griffin right on the chest, bright as can be. And it's not your armor. See, we know you wear black. No, it's an older man who wears brown. Loud and proud it was. Have you seen that on that man, Mr. Severick? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Wrong answer. Time and again, oh, we have seen the Another same fucking the face, people Severick. This come in and out of this fucking house. Striking your forehead. Arm to the teeth. Other townsfolk report it. Our guardsmen on patrol lighting the torches see it. You come riding in and out of the clinic with your injured? You think I'm stupid? Very well. This will keep going, Mr. Severick, and it's going to get a lot fucking worse. Because I have seen you sitting on those fucking stairs when these people have come and gone in their armor. Even Sergeant Fenton has told the Custone about it as a security risk. 
when your homes were searched, armor matching that of the old leather armor we're talking about was present inside of the house. Nothing to mind your own business. Take two of his fingers. Very quickly, Severick, the guard takes your hand and with the razor sharp scimitar. He so severs your fingers. Looking around. Anyone who stops nearby, shoot them with a crossbow! Yes, sir. Spread them out! <laughs> Answer the fucking question, Hobbit, or I will keep going and going because this boy is not going to talk. Obviously, you're fucking nothing to him! He's silent. He lives in this house. Bit by bit, we've picked apart what he's starting to say. He hasn't said shit about you. So let's continue. I've seen the reports. Knowing that you stay here all the time, helping with the forge while you assist with your diving outside of the ports. And you're telling me you've seen nothing, which is a lie. So again, Mr. Severick. Can you identify the people in this building? Matching the armor descriptions given. Can you point them out? Severk, as the man shouts, <laughs> you cannot help but stare at the two severed fingers lying at the ground at your feet. You know that these men are serious. If you don't tell them the truth, if you don't give them what they want, this is the end of the road. I, I couldn't... If they're in armor, I can't tell. I don't know who they are. They just might be wearing armor. Put your sword blade in the forge and wait till it's white hot. Mr. Sharik! This boy is only going to continue to suffer. So... We've clarified... That suspicious people have been seen coming in and out of this abode, this very fucking building! And of course, we have heard about the reports of you coming in with the blacksmith on bloodied wagons, and the same fucking armor in this report. The older man, I will specify. That people have been seen leaving this building to deal with issues in the province. Heavily armed and armored, it is the only place outside of the mercenaries' guild. I need to know who these people are. And I need to know now. And I will give you their descriptions. And I need you to tell me who they are. Will you cooperate or not? I will cooperate as far as I can. The man in the steel, pink and white, who are they? As I told you, I don't know their face, I haven't seen them, only worked on their sword. People in all black, faces covered, dark armor, could not tell the material. That one escapes me. Severick, you know that these men aren't going to be fed the right answers. Not by him. And as you look to your left, you see the sword being held by the guardsmen in the furnace is glowing white hot. They use the place here as a muster point. As frustrating as it is, it's a thoroughfare. I don't see these people without their weapons and armor. Who is they? These people you're describing. So they come here as a muster point. That's allowed. Who is it? Who has allowed this to happen on your property? Well, it drives up prices and makes us look good, makes us look busy. <laughs> Plus, while they're here, you know, chopping you a sword or two. <laughs> You're fucking mad. You understand that there's a lot of coincidental information. But these people are involved in something they should not be. I am not blind. And I don't think you're stupid. <laughs> and if I don't get the answers I want right now, 
I'm going to leave you with a corpse and come back tomorrow. I've told you everything I can help with. Do you understand? I don't believe you. Soldier. Take his hand. Burn the flesh so he does not bleed out. Your hand is grabbed by the guard, Severick, and with a single strike, the white hot sword goes searing to the flesh. It is not quick. The blade has been dulled by the searing white heat, and as it tears through the flesh and burns and sears it closed, you go into shock as it falls limp to the ground. Now, no fucking loitering. You obviously can see that he's not going to say anything. Whatever it is that he knows, he's not going to divulge it to save your life. But if you tell me, he will be thrown in bars and you will be let go. Otherwise, I will take you apart bit by bit. I, I told you what I know. It's for people coming and wearing armor, I can't see who they are. They're not giving us what that we want. I'm going to give you one last chance, Hobbit. You are seen with some of the injured in that armor. The knight. The Corporal Barrera was killed at Balerno. The people were rushed here for medical attention. They were seen around these people in armor, talking to them, helping them. And you know something. This is your last chance. The truth comes Who out are separate. These people? This man knows that you know. He is giving you a first attempt at salvation from a wretched fate. All he asks is the truth, the whole honest truth. And as your hand lies on the ground with its two severed fingers and pain pulses through your body and you feel a deep loss for the limb that has been permanently separated from you. You have a moment to reconsider. Now's the time to speak, you little liar. I don't know. Very well. Then I hope whatever it was, it was worth it, little hobbit. I hope it was worth it. What are you guys doing? Keep up around, man. Keep, keep moving. moving. You want to take care of the forge and protect keep it? Moving. Well, I'll make sure you're here forever. Sergeant, keep toss him in. And go fucking get your stone. The boy knows nothing. <laughs> He had his chance! And that's it. Pause. You think we're going to Pause. fuck around? Pause. Tyler, Pause. you watch as the lieutenant lifts the hobbit into his arms. And in an instant, almost carelessly, he casts Severit into the inferno of the furnace. You don't turn and see it at first, no. You hear the screams, you hear the sizzling of flesh, and you smell burnt hair in your nostrils, and the writhing amid the embers, and the coal, and the logs that fuel this flame. Unpause. <laughs> You think we're here playing games? No, not anymore! 
<laughs> Not any fucking more! Whatever the fuck you think that you're involved in, whatever the fuck that you think you're hiding! Yeah, because we know that you know. Here. I'll put it that way. You're not gonna last, motherfucker. You and yours are gonna wind up just like that. I promise you. Blood curdling screams erupt from the flames and abruptly stop. So test fate if you want! I'll be back tomorrow for another payment. You're gonna run out of friends? Or you're gonna give me answers one way or the other? This isn't your fucking town. We're done here! Look at all these fucking. On to the next! Let's gather! Let's move! Let's get the fuck out of here. Hey. You better remember whose town this is. You hear a crackle. The familiar sound of searing flesh. And for but a moment, a part of you tries to drown it out. For a moment you almost succeed. When some of the coals shift slightly. You realize with within a moment he's he's still moving if only slightly but through the coals you can see his blackened flesh out of character give him a second he's lagging <clears throat> He's dragged him and threw him on the floor. Understood. As soon as he's back, the scene will resume. Those who were near really enough by that was really, really heard long. the screams. Blood curdling. In greater pain than many of you have ever known, many of you have ever heard, few of you may the know the sound the of a person burning alive. And for those of you who do, it is an unwelcome Fucking reminder. Fucking damn it, dude, if I'm gonna have a... <laughs> for everyone else. Is merely a cruel reminder of how cold, how unforgiving this world can be. Welcome to the new front lines, lads. You are on the floor. What comes out of the coals looks less like a person. Get them away from the forge. Get them away from the and forge. And more like a pile of Back char. Off. His skin is blackened. Can you can pay your respects later. Back off. Listen to the forge master. There's no movement in him. There is nothing to do now. He's dead. Let him clean up the mess the and you can pay your respects later. Go. Make sure you and your loved Nadia, ones are safe. Looking at this hobbit, his eyes flicker for just a moment, but it is. There is no struggle in them. Merely a fear. Looking at him, Remember that fuse I was talking there is no treatment you know of. No bandage, no salve, no potion that can help this. His body barely moves. And as his eyes flick down, they look at you, Kyler, through slitted eyelids.
Pause. Severick. It's strange. The pain was immense, unbearable, worse than anything you had ever known in your life. The strange part was how quickly it faded. As the shock overtook you, your body went numb, so numb you could no longer even scream. Your eyes are full of soot. And while you can make out shapes vaguely, there is no detail to them. Color almost completely washed from the world, and yet you know those silhouettes well. You know you made your choice. You know this is your penance. And yet, a part of you... A part of you is okay with that. Sure, you could have told the truth, sure. You could have sold out your friends. But you learned a long time ago, in the underbelly of a ship crammed with so many other people, that when you face down the tyrants of the world, the best thing you can do is be there for those who suffer. You have only ever wanted to spread love to protect those that you care for, a sentiment shared by those around you, and it emboldened you. You saw the cruelty of the world, and you said, I refuse. And those near you can even see through the ash. A small smile creeps on your face. This was not how you wanted to go. But you know that you were true to yourself until the end. Though you may be small, no people say fra hobbits are fragile. You never were. <laughs> Take that, world. Your eyes shut. Your hand relaxes, but the smile never leaves your face. And as your breath leaves your body, Severick the Diver journeys on to the next world. You'll make sure the beds are comfy when your friends fall after. Because that's what you do. You make sure everyone is happy. There's nothing else I can do. Get a blanket or something. Understood. I will go put this in your room. Seems you're one that's partial to mementos. Don't. Leave it out here. Where would you like me to put it? <laughs> Understood. I'm going to need a hand. Help me get him into the tower so I can wrap him up properly. Shriek, as you pick up Severick, you notice there's in his hand something that survived the fire. Something he's extremely let go now. They know that it's safe. As you pick it up, you see it's a small, roughly the size of your palm clamshell. He doesn't have to nod. You already know the answer. I'm going to prep. 
I was burying him by the ocean. She's lifting him up. I will see you this evening. <clears throat> Keep an eye on him. Emotional no. support is not. Get him under the tarp, lads. Let me wrap him up properly. No. I got him. Page. You set down the body of Zaparik, the hobbit, Kyla. Having come to know him, Zaparik, in Nodis, just for the briefest moment, it feels like. Just for the briefest moment, as it was the night before. The veil is pulled back. Death is everywhere. It is around all things, occupying every single space where the spark of life does not flicker against the infinite darkness. And at this moment, that darkness and that veil have covered Severick the Hobbit and run through him. It has enveloped every part of him and he has become part of it. The infinite, nothing dark that surrounds and suffuses life. How terrifying it must be. How horrifying it must be. But then again, in a world of chaos, it is something certain as bittersweet as that may seem in this moment. It is something certain. All the more reason to fight for the moments that do remain. To fight for the future that does remain. Before all that you are and all that you will ever know will flow back into that ever dark which surrounds us all. Master Dewey. That forge does not get lit again today. No. Oh, 
great and open sea, I beseech this body unto you one final time. He was a loyal companion, a friend to the very end. For this, we request that you carry his soul, his body, and his deeds on to wherever he may go next. May they find purchase and the next one to fill his position on this ship. Gracefully await till we meet again. A seaside eulogy for a seaside burial. Dwarven Thane keeps shovels of sand upon the body until it is covered. Doubtless, when the tide arrives, it will take the body out to sea, where it will become one with the waves and the rest of the waters that surround the blessed land of Isara. This ends tonight. I will have every and any dowry that I can get tonight. An armor and a sword. This doesn't stand. Everyone make sure you have medical supplies. It's gonna be bloody. We should go see one. Yeah, my axe and that of my brother. Anything I'll catch up. Can bring. Just you alone. And that will do. I'm gonna go hunt down the alchemist. I'm going to empty the forge. I will not be left for the remainder of the day. Yeah, we have some customs for when things like this occur. With a death in the forge. No hammer will fall. No fire will be stopped. vaguely goes to what Marcus had mentioned that no one has to die on that boat but the men can simply be scared off then everyone will be spared but you know you know because you more than anyone here have felt that sweet taste of cold vengeance and right now having seen the face of Road Jaheen as he has walked past, a man who has recently now lost almost everything, as well as that of others. No one will be leaving that ship alive tonight, and you know it.
Until we got there. Be me. Right. I'll be there. Thank you, Totem. They all die. soldiers to get them to dehumanize their opponents, to get them to burn the Xeno, to get them to cut down anyone they are told. You consider that mercy tonight will not be in vain. I'm sorry. For what? I could have stopped him. I made the choice. We're killing more people. This will all end soon enough. You did what you had to and so did he. Harry has a friend. Apparently he was beaten to death. Just now. Oh my god. The guards have attacked people across the city. We heard it on our way in. Dwight the farmer is dead as is Lily the bathhouse worker. And Al Severick. They strangled her. Uh, t t Tazim. Venora. She's in the bushes. We, uh, we need to know exactly what we need. How many potions? Bandages? Long moments of silence pass. Just the tide lapping against your feet. Sound of the rhythmic waves. And a very mild breeze. That is doing little to banish the heat of the summer. That is beginning to set in as dawn transitions into noon. more than the recent experience with death is something that's hard to shake. The dreams from before, perhaps of Astagon or the conflict to come, the ocean of bodies and blood and bones strewn out before the armies of New Gwen. It would be foolish to assume that no one would be hurt. Hubris to assume 
it wouldn't be you or someone close. Down a fine spot, have we? <sighs> right, I've really took drow much for uh, the seaside. I'm not like other drow, far too hot. <laughs> I know. Ready for tonight, then, Shariq. Very. That anger you feel right now, that burning, very powerful. You know. This isn't the first time I felt it, I'm sure. Just be careful that the flame doesn't consume you too. After all, What else is there? Plenty. Or the rest of this, for one. Vengeance consume far too many men. To short fuse and a bright flame. But it's never worth it if it costs you everything. I'm not saying you shouldn't pursue it. But I don't want to see you burn yourself out. After all, You and your father has far too many plans to dash them on. You should remember to think before you act. I know that you won't act alone. Thanks, Cyrus. I think there's some people I need to see. I'll see you tonight. Uh, hey. I was gonna check up on you, but it seems you have your company. Thank you.
Marcus. I'll, uh, I'll walk with you for the time being. Make sure you're alright. Make sure we're alright. <laughs> Make sure we're alright. Stand shoulder to shoulder and all that. If it makes you feel better. <laughs> it does. Many of the merchants. The I came by your shop first docks, thing. It wasn't open. Ships and I hope goods you and use whatnot. that extra time to have Maybe one of the people along the docks might be able to help. It's nice to meet you. I'm Hera. Hera, a fine name. How can her fine name be called? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry, I was a bit late in the morning, but uh, yeah, I. So. Out of character, I, I did attempt to do it, but maybe I'm not. I can't save Galavan here. Oh, my magical fucking portal. Where are they? Follow me. Please wait down here, you two. Um, sure. Um, it's good to see you again. I'm going with them here. And that's all there. If looks could kill, Marcus. If looks could kill. Not that in a good way, assuredly. 